Hi, I'm Isabel from Birchbox. I love to go all out with makeup when I'm going to a party. And right now I am totally into blue and gold together. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this ultra glam look for your party that you're going to next. So I'm gonna use a few different palettes to get the look today. And I'm gonna start out with the Make palette and use Alabaster as my highlight right underneath my brow. This one's a nice shimmery color. That's gonna give me a nice highlight. Now I'm gonna start with my crease color. So I'm gonna use this color. Um, I'm gonna use my blending brush and just roll the brush into the color. I'm gonna do a light wash of color in my crease. So this is actually gonna give me a nice base to the rest of the colors that I'm gonna put on. And it's also gonna give me some good definition for my eye shape. Now that I'm done with my contour color, I'm gonna move on to our darker shades and add this awesome color called Sapphire from our Smashbox palette. I'm still gonna use my blending brush, but I'm only gonna use the tip of it this time because I'm gonna put a lot of concentrated dark blue right in the crease, and it's gonna give me a really awesome dramatic look. Just using the tip of the brush right in Sapphire, I wanna shake off any excess, and then I'm gonna put this just right into the outer corner of my crease, and then start doing little blending motions and bringing it in towards the center and then start to blend it out. Make sure that you're just keeping it really tight and little tiny circles. Keep the outer corner here a little bit rounded so that you're actually making kind of that half moon shape on your eye because you don't want it to be winged out too much. So now it's time to add the gold, so that big bright pop of color. And I'm gonna use the Cynthia Rowley pencil liner, and this is gonna be actually my base that's going to help the shadow really pop out. I'm gonna start again, just on my entire lid, working one eye at a time. I'm gonna use my flat brush that I used with my highlight color as well. This time I'm really gonna pack the color in here, so really getting a lot onto my brush, and then just pressing the color right into my shadow. I'm actually gonna use the color that I put in my crease the line underneath. So using our liner brush, I'm just going to dip it right into sapphire. And I'm going to start lining right underneath my lash line here. So starting right where I left off with my shadow, I'm going to start my under line right underneath my lashes. And then just doing light padding strokes from the outside into the inner corner. Now you want to kind of graduate the width of your line as you go in. So making it a lot thicker on the outside and then just keeping it really thin right as you get into the inner corner. Now it's time to get really dramatic and add all of our liquid liner and our pencils. On my top lash line, I'm gonna use our Cynthia Rowley liquid liner, which is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna do a nice cat eye. So starting here, light feather strokes. Then you wanna make a triangle shape so that you really get that cat eye effect. Here's my triangle. And then fill it in. And then I'm gonna go back to the center here and then work my way out again. Now I'm gonna add some more drama to my eye by lining the inner rim or the waterline with the Visanti Kajal eyeliner in Electric Navy. So this one's gonna add a lot of pop. So this is really easy. You just take the pencil and you just rub it right along the waterline. So it's also a really soft pencil, so make sure that you're not pressing too hard. Taking this all the way from one end to the other. I'm also gonna go just a little bit underneath my lash line on the top. So don't be scared, just swipe it across. This part is totally optional, but like I said, I like to go all out for my really dramatic look. So I'm gonna put on some false lashes. It's really easy, it does take some practice, but I'm gonna take you step by step, so don't worry. I'm gonna use these lashes that are made by Japanese. And I really like these ones because they come with the glue in it and they are the perfect size, so you really don't have to cut them a lot at all. First, just pull them out with your thumb off of the packaging so that you're not pulling at the shape of the lash. Now that your lashes are out of the package, you first wanna measure them to make sure that they fit your eye. So just take them right off of there and then just place them to see how they would fit. 
and you don't want them to extend past your natural lash line at all. So you can just kind of guesstimate and see how they go. If they did extend past, you would actually want to trim anything from the inner corner since they're tapered to be longer on the outside. So you want to cut from the shorter inner corner and then just get rid of anything that you cut off. Run the glue right along the lash line here just so you get a really thin coat of it. And then putting a little extra nub of it right on the outer and the inner corner because that's where you really want it to stay. Now you want to wait about a minute to let the glue dry so that it becomes tacky. So if you put it on your lash line when it's too wet, it's just going to kind of move around. So just give it a minute, let it dry, and then we'll put it on. First thing, when you're placing your lashes, don't close your eyes because you want them to be open. Sometimes when you close your eyes, they get a little crinkly and that will crease the glue and it won't have the proper placement for the lashes. Just place it right on the outer corner and hold it into place. And then you're going to work your way in. And it takes about a minute for the glue to dry. The last step of this look is to blend my natural lashes with the false lashes. So I'm gonna use a really awesome volumizing mascara from Laura Mercier, which is called Full Blown Volumizing Mascara. And the part's really easy. You just put on your mascara like you normally would and just blend the lashes in. So don't be afraid to really dig in there. All right, and then don't forget the bottom lashes. It's always important to really even them out. To cover any glue marks, I'm gonna use this color called Black Top that's in the Smashbox palette with my eyeliner brush. Just patting a little bit into the color. I notice I have some just right in this inner corner here. So I'm just gonna cover that right up. All right, that's it. I hope you guys love this look. Let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments. I'll see you next time.